Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today in front of us, I get to show you guys the custom Lego Giga Horse. From Mad Max Fury Road, this vehicle belonged to Immortan Joe. He was the king of his clan, and essentially what this vehicle actually is are two Cadillac Coupe de Ville's uh, melded together, essentially two kings of the road mashed into one. That with an aggressively high stance basically makes this the most boss vehicle on the road at the time, and so of course it's perfectly fit for the king. If some of you guys who've been longtime fans of the channel think this is a little bit of a familiar video, yes, almost exactly a year ago we actually made a video just about this custom model, but the designer Nicola has been playing around and tinkering with the design, updating bits and pieces here and there, and we thought it would be fun to show you guys the latest version of the mock. Before I go any further though into the updates and little details of this build, I will say if you wanted to build it on your own, you can buy the instructions at our web store, www www.brickvault.toys included with each purchase are the PDF step-by-step -step building instructions as well as a digital parts list for ordering your pieces online. It's a great way to help support what we do here at the channel as well as the amazing designers that we work with like Nicola. And in this video I'm not going to get into the history of this model so much but instead I'll point out some of the updates and in general just kind of go through what this model's all about. So first and foremost probably the number one thing that you can see that's a bit different from the original is the fact that the side sloping bricks that you see on either side of this model have uh, have been updated. They originally were those uh, cheese wedge pieces that are a little bit more rigid and they don't really match up quite as well with that classic Cadillac look. So it's a very different construction on the side here. Really love the update. And then the roof has also been updated. The connections there uh, are a little bit more accurate and it's also a bit stronger, which I like. You can take it off and on the inside, there's a couple of extra seats added. And then the steps lead on up towards the back where there's some more studs for posing minifigs. The lights have changed to lipstick pieces instead of those trans red bits with the little bars in the back. That's a lot more accurate. Those lights normally are sort of rocket shaped and very thin and pointy. So that just makes a little bit more sense. And then I think I forgot to mention it, but this is not a minifig scale model in case you couldn't tell by the interior. It's in fact 1.5 to 2 times the size of a minifig scale model, but does indeed measure up with the rest of the uh, Mad Max Fury Road mocks that are up in the web store as well. So with that increased size, if you couldn't tell already, there's just a lot more space for details, which is really fun for us. And then if we jump all the way down towards the front of this build, uh, there's different grill details. I especially like the way that those spikes in the front were constructed with those slope pieces as well as those little quarter round tiles. That's a way more accurate and also way more smooth and aggressive looking feel uh, for the front, which I really, really like. Also, you can't really tell by the looks of it, but the connection here is a lot stronger. The front grille was a little bit weak, and you kind of had to be slightly delicate with the way it was attached. That's not the case anymore. And then along the same lines, if you flip the model over, you can see there's tons of different mechanical details here. And if you grabbed the model casually by the belly from before, some of them had the tendency to pop off or get displaced. That's not the case anymore. It's an extremely robust model, much more casual to handle. And that was important to us because this is one of the few mocks that we actually put up in the web store that have built-in play features. It's very, very simple. Nicola added uh, this little gear piece in the back so you can move around the wheels in the front, but it does make all the difference when every aspect of this model is built in a robust way where you can really just play around with it uh, a bit more casual. What didn't change in this model and for good reason, I'd say, is the engine, the engine block in the front. At least the changes are extremely minor. Maybe just how it attaches to the body or something. This, I still forgot to ask Nicola, but this I'm pretty sure is the seed piece or the, at least like the seed bit of the build where I'm guessing the engine was built first and then the rest of the mock was built around it. It's just such a fun and flowing uh, build for a double V8 and it still remains the focal point of the entire model in terms of a shape that it's intricate and eye-catching. Let me also take the time to say right now, if you've stuck around in the video this long, Nicola is working on another epic vehicle from this same universe, Mad Max Fury Road. And depending on when you're watching the video now, it's either out in the web store or it's coming relatively soon. But anyways, guys, that is basically all I have to say about the Giga Horse. It's an extremely awesome looking post-apocalyptic vehicle. And if you want to learn slightly more about this universe or the, or the vehicle itself, I think I went into 
a little bit more depth on the original version of the Giga Horus video, which is linked in the description below as well. And all right, that is actually going to be it for this episode. So if you have any ideas about another Lego creation you'd like to see us build, please let me know in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah!